up guys, it's Amelia. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are diving into fall makeup. Oh my gosh, it's the end of summer this month. But I do love the fall season because it's kind of in that transition where it's still warm, but you still have some days where you can like pull out a nice hoodie and just get a little cozy. I just got so inspired to start doing fall makeup. I don't know if it's early or not. So if you guys want to see me create a makeup look for the fall season, then just keep watching. I feel like for the fall season, you can still use kind of dewy foundations. So I'm gonna go in with some Maybelline Dream Cushion Fresh Face Liquid Foundation. This is in the shade number 15, Ivory. I'm just gonna dip into this and start applying right away. No primer needed. Have you guys been looking into fall makeup trends lately? Like I have, and I feel like the 90s are still a thing this fall. Like the grunge makeup is gonna make like a full swing. For this look, I want a really, really even base. So I'm gonna try to get rid of any redness, even though I have a zit right there and like a couple right here that are really showing through. I'm gonna try to hide those. Wish me luck. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna go in with a damp beauty sponge and I'm just gonna dip it right into the foundation and then I'm just gonna gently kind of press it in. This way I can blend out my foundation very beautifully without kind of removing what's already there. So now that everything is good and blended, I'm gonna go in with some concealer. I've been trying out the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I purchased the shade Fair, and I'm only using this for under my eyes. So far, I've been really digging it. We're just gonna take a smaller beauty sponge and blend that in. This is just a really nice way to brighten the eyes. We're also gonna bring that up onto the eyes as well. Okay, before any of the makeup starts to crease, I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Smooth Operator Setting Powder, and I'm just gonna set the entire face. I feel like if you don't have oily skin, you can totally just set your T-zone, but I'm going in with the entire face. Then I'm going to be taking some NYX HD Banana Powder and really setting the under eye area with it. I wanna make sure I get no creases in the under eye area. I'm also gonna kinda use this on top of the eyes as well. Might as well brighten that area up too. Okay, so now we're gonna go in straight to the eyes. I'm gonna be going into Too Faced Just Peachy Matte's palette. I'm gonna be dipping into this shade Peach Butter and just lightly applying it all over the lid and even on the brow bone. Then I'm gonna be going into this taupey shade Peach Tea and just kind of applying this to the outer corner and I can't decide if I want to apply it to my entire lid. For now, we're gonna keep it in the crease. Okay, I'm gonna be going into the shade Chocolate Dipped right here with a kind of flat brush, as you can see. I'm just gonna be kind of lining the under eye area, kind of grunging it out, like really smoking it out, except I'm only gonna go halfway. I'm not gonna go the entire way. We're also gonna be taking that color and adding it kind of to our upper lash line as well, almost kind of using it as an eyeliner and going no more than halfway up the lid. Then we're gonna go back into that peach butter shade and kind of blend out the bottom lash line just a little bit. And then we're also gonna blend out the top layer as well, like going all over the lid with the peach butter shade. We're also gonna be taking a little bit of peach tea and kind of putting it in the inner corner of our eye as well. Now I'm going to be adding some liquid liner and we're also going to be doing a subtle cat eye with this. And then what I'm doing with the liner is I'm not going all the way down into the very center. I'm kind of stopping kind of right here. So a little more like two thirds in, if that makes sense. Okay, so now I'm going to be just working on the brows really, really quickly just to get that out of the way. I'm going to be going in with some Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pencil in the shade dark brown. I'm gonna be brushing my brows down a bit just so I can get the real shape of my brows. For brows, I wanna keep it really, really natural looking. I feel like winter is where you have like your extreme brows, but fall, you still kinda of get those really nice fluffy brows. So next, I'm going to be contouring my face. I'm gonna be going into the Smashbox Cali Contour Palette. This is seriously one of my new favorite palettes ever. I'm gonna be taking this matte contour right here and applying that right below my cheekbones. You really want to take our time layering the contour too because I feel like in fall you don't quite have your harsh contours going on just yet but you do have enough to to show it to show it you know I want to do a little bit on the jawline as well 
Then next I'm gonna be going into this bronze shade right here because I feel like it's still the end of summer. You can get away with a more bronzed kind of look, especially as the seasons are kind of just melting together. Don't forget to go up on the forehead as well. I'm actually also going to be taking this dark contour shade with a eyeshadow brush and applying that to my crease. This is just gonna help make your makeup look a little more cohesive. Now I'm gonna be taking the blush that's also in this palette and kind of dabbing it over the contour and bronze area. I don't wanna to go too much on the cheeks just yet. And then I'm going to be taking my Hourglasses Ambient Light Blush in the shade Mood Exposure. I'm just going to be taking a little bit of this and layering it on top of that blush. One of my subscribers recommended using it as kind of like a top blush and I feel like it's just perfect for this look because it adds a little bit of light as well. And just slowly build it up until you get to the saturation you want. A little bit on the nose. Just a very like flushed skin look. That's what I'm really trying to go for. Not sunburnt, just like more like I was out in the cold so my skin's a little red kind of thing. We're also gonna go into the shimmery highlight that's in this palette and just do a very little bit. I don't want to over the power the look with a highlight, just enough to make my skin a little brighter here and there. We're also gonna be taking that and adding a lot of it to the cupid's bow. Now we're gonna move on to the lashes. I'm just gonna curl my lashes really quick. Okay, now I'm gonna be taking some Bad Gal Bang mascara and applying that to the upper lashes as well as the bottom lashes. I really want my bottom lashes to kind of show. Then we're gonna be moving on to the lips. I'm just gonna be taking the Sephora Rouge Fondant Clicks, and this is in the shade Creme Brulee. It's a very nice brown, super moisturizing lip, kind of gloss almost. We're just gonna be applying this to the lips. Then I'm going to be starting everything with Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Oh, I also forgot I want to set the brows. I'm going to be using Anastasia's Clear Brow Gel. I'm also going to try to make my brows look a little feathery. Nothing too crazy, but you know, just a little featherier. I don't know why, but I just want it a little brighter kind of in the center of my face. So I'm going to be taking the brightening powder that's right in the Smashbox palette and just very gently adding a little bit to the front and then the nose as well. All right, and this is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. It really, really does help support my channel. And question of the video, what is your absolute favorite fall makeup look? Do you like the smoky eyes, the grungy lips? Like, what do you love about fall makeup? Please let me know down in the comments below. And if you are new to my channel, I'm Amelia. <laughs> if you guys want to see more beauty and lifestyle and just fun videos in general, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button that is right down below. And if you're already subscribed to my channel and don't want to miss a single one of my videos that I post, be sure to hit the little notification bell that is right next to the subscribe button so you will get notified every single time I upload. Also, if you decide to recreate this look or any of the looks that are on my channel, be sure to tag me on Instagram at InstaAmelia. I would love to see your renditions of this look. I hope you guys have a very fall-inspired rest of your day, and I will see you next time. Bye!